Oh, speaking of insanity, this is another fun moment. Just remember how I said, like, the average American is, is behaving like a medieval peasant? But, the, but imagine if we could strap a fucking GoPro onto the medieval peasant and make aware the medieval peasant of the GoPro's existence so they could document all of their insanity and insane thoughts. This is what you arrive at. This is everything now. Okay, AMC refunded an entire theater of tickets to Sound of Freedom due to lack of uh, AC. This lady showed up anyway and wants answers. There was air conditioning in the lobby, in the hallway, in the bathrooms. Not the theaters. I smell something stinky. So, don't know if any one of you have already been to see The Sound of Freedom, but my friends and I just walked out. Hi. And we are curious what your experiences were in the movie theater because we pre-ordered our tickets. Paid for them. They were claimed. Got the link sent. And this is McDonald's did not allow me to have a, a ice cream, a delicious ice cream treat. They said the machine is broken. Well, I feel like there's something else going on. It's real fishy. What the hell is going on? It's an AMC theater in Pineville, North Carolina. Some point today, the tickets got refunded to my friend and we couldn't figure out why. So we come anyways to the theater after dinner and they're like, oh, well, we refunded all the tickets because there's no air conditioning in our theaters. Okay, whatever, we don't care. Are you still showing it? Yeah, you can, you can still watch it. So we get to thinking, why did they not send out a notice in the email saying, hey, we refunded your tickets because there's no air conditioning. Um, and we just are curious, why, they, why, why didn't they let us know? There was no one in that theater. There was Hello, I am the evil HVAC man who works for AMC. I turn off all the air conditioners in the theater showing the sex trafficking movie for I am evil. Is the Sound of Freedom the sex trafficking movie? Is that what it is? Wait, is AMC running the sex trafficking movie? Is Wait, what is The Sound of Freedom? I didn't even know what this is. Oh my god, this is the QAnon movie. It is based on a true story. How that make you feel? Giving a child his freedom. They want our big, beautiful children, brother. Good. You have been at this for 12 years. My country tis of thee. Why are you doing it? Okay, the this song. This song like this is the soundtrack. I love that. I mean, it, it's immediately. I'm immediately held captive by this, okay? Call me an American child in Nebraska. The way I'm captive. Like I'm captive by the Colombian child trafficker gang, okay? It got me. I'm already, uh, oh God, this is awesome. Oh my God, this is so good. Oh. Oh my God. This is what conservatives think they're doing when they're banning trans-affirming care. The real-life guy from this story wanted Jim Caviezel to play him, and he said he wanted Jesus Christ to play him specifically. Jim was Jesus in the Passion. Oh. 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 Oh, that's awesome. Oh, this is getting... Oh, this is like a blooming onion, okay? This is like an onion. It, it just keeps getting better and better. We're just opening up new uh, unexplored territory. Oh, my God. God's children are not for sale. God's children are not for sale. Oh, God. Yeah, God is so against child trafficking. It's, it's God that's against it. 
It is the fastest growing international crime network that the world has ever seen. I like that he opens the door and he's sad, you know, because he doesn't want the kid to think like, he doesn't want the kid to think like, oh, yay, uh, I'm trafficking this child. It like, oh, no, what did they do to you, my boy? I'm so sad. I'm so sad about what the trafficking that has been done to you. I'm going to reverse traffic now. <laughs> Angel Studios? Oh, this is so good. The world has ever seen. For Homeland Security, you know we can't go off rescuing Honduran kids in Colombia. This job tears you to pieces. And, my and this is my one chance to put those pieces back together. Look at the real life guy. You can imagine the horny QAnon woman in this man. Oh, this is the real guy. Oh, dude. Oh, it's over. It's so over. Every bar, every Barbara in a 10 mile radius from any AMC uh, theater that plays this movie is. Oh, my God. They're so wet. This man has gotten the most Barbara pussy you've ever seen. Okay. No one is getting Barbara pussy after this. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's a white hat trafficker. Jim Caviezel is also super into QAnon. Oh, my Lord, dude. Oh, my Lord. He's got the Barbaras and the Debras. You're right. All the Debras, all the Barbaras. That's why the AC was broken, dude. It's too moist in there. The walls are sweating. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. He's talking about... A minute ago... And I, I want to clarify what that word was, because you said a word, and yeah. I want to make sure that you said adrenochrome. Yeah. And a lot of people here, there's about 4,500 people here. There's yeah. uh, about a half million people streaming yeah. online. We're having some cyber attacks. That feed's been going on and off. It's, it's they're, they're cyber attacking us, brother. One Wait. of the most disturbing problems in our world today is human trafficking, and particularly the trafficking of children. Now, the first step in eradicating this crime is awareness. Go see Sound of Freedom. Oh, my God. Dude, this is so sick. Dude, they got all the best. They got, they got everybody on board. Oh, this is so good. On the set of Person of Interest, Jim Caviezel once was so incapable of remembering his lines that he made the crew tape note card to the other actor's forehead. The line was no. Stop. Inside the shadowy anti-sex trafficking group hour. We spoke to the people who trained for a rescue mission and saw what was behind the curtain. Yeah, but that's vice. They're gay communists who want to... The sex trafficking. They want the sex trafficking to continue. They've already sold 3 million tickets through a pay it forward campaign. Oh, dude, it's awesome. This is so sick. Oh my God, this is so sick. I feel bad that we banned that one guy who came in here and who was like, I remember still. Remember that gray name we banned like last week where he was like, have you seen the Jim Caviezel film that is shining a light uh, shining a light on the horrifying nature of child sex trafficking and we immediately banned the guy? <laughs> like, we should have never banned him. It's such a funny, it's such a funny line because like, who the fuck's like child sex trafficking? What about the, the light side of child sex trafficking? He said he was shining a light on the dark side of child sex trafficking. <laughs> That's literally how my mom mentioned it to me too. Oh, that's so good. Are you going to watch it with chat? We'll probably get banned if we watch it. Metaplex movies. The funniest outcome of Sound of Freedom, bringing out all the people predisposed to believe in conspiracy, including my dad, is how they're actually shedding more light on chronically bad movie theater conditions than anyone has in ages. <laughs> That's good. Finally, dude. Someone is... 
Someone needs to speak out against this shit. No air conditioning in the movie theaters? How about no fucking nachos with cheese? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Hit it raw? I need cheese on the side. Go to a fucking movie theater. I, I expect to have some nachos with a fucking side of cheese. Okay? Finally, like who, I, I'm always finding myself asking, like, who is stopping? Who is, who is really controlling society? Who is really not allowing me to have some nachos and cheese in the movie theaters? Okay? Who's doing it? There's got to be someone out there pulling the fucking strings. You're a nachos at the movies guy? Yes, I am. Nachos are too loud to eat? Yeah, if you're a pussy. What? I don't give a fuck. Got a 75 critic score on Rotten Tomatoes with a 100% audience score? Yeah. Bringing 10 hard-boiled eggs in the theater to eat? Listen, it's my anabolic window. <laughs> Real psychopaths eat hamburgers in the movie theaters? No, there's like... There are movie theaters that serve like full fucking dinners and shit. I've never been. But I would definitely do that. Are you kidding me? I love eating and watching. It's my greatest hobby of all time. I think I like it more than I like having sex. Eating food while also watching a thing that you're excited to watch is the greatest thing that you can do on the planet, okay? You're out of your mind if you're against that. That's like, you're against freedom, dude. Yo, you know what? Bet you, bet you they don't let you eat baguettes in France, okay? When you're watching a movie. Fucked up. Uh, they have theaters with full service menus and bars here in Indiana. Um, they, they have it in LA too. Okay. Let's, I want to see more of this shit, dude. This shit is fucking made for me. Okay. Oh, I gotta go pee. And yet somehow you have failed to bring me one real world lead. It's over, Tim. Close up and come back home. So you quit your job. And you go and rescue those kids. South of that river, it's all rebel territory. No one goes in. What if this was your daughter? So, she's gone. sound of freedom. Sound of Freedom is one of those films that can legitimately change this world. So we want to ignite a fire in audiences and open their eyes to the dark reality of millions of children that need our help. Let's make this film a historic event and the start, the end of child trafficking. Theaters across this country are already selling out. Pre-order your tickets today, and you can send the message. Wait, what? There's something wrong with him. Why did he say pre-order? Pre-order like that. There's some... Does this guy not know how to read? Sounds like fucking AI. Oh my God! It's not. A, what are the? What is this drip? What's he rocking right now? These hogs will probably talk about those Honduran kids after watching this movie while freaking out about the border crisis in the same breath. Ben Shabibo well, we interviewed Jim Cavaziel about the film Sound of. Damn, dude! 141k views. Fucking the fall off is real. All the best actors are illiterate. Yeah, like that chick from Glee. God's children are no longer for sale. God's children are for, no longer for sale. Jeremy Johns' Man, actual review of the film. Say in the beginning. Let's just talk about the heavy movie of the week or year. Dude, this guy still has the exact same 
background and exact same intro that he's had for like 10 years. What the fuck? So Sound of Freedom is a movie, a little setup here. I'd never even heard about this movie until a couple days ago. I saw it in the comment section. People were like, why don't you review Sound of Freedom? I was like, what's that? I, what is that? Turns out it's not what it sounds like. It, I mean, Sound of Freedom sounds like a 2002 war in Iraq military puff piece film. Right, it's not. Sound of Freedom is based on a true story. It stars Jim Caviezel as Tim Ballard, who's an agent for Homeland Security. And this movie is the true story about how this guy, Tim Ballard, worked with colleagues, got some funding, set up a sting operation to catch a bunch of these traffickers and free a bunch of children from trafficking. Now the first 45 minutes or so of this movie is exposing you to the horrific nature of the subject matter. And it needs to do that, I totally get that. That is to say, this film is very heavy. This is not like Taken. Taken is using a real thing, human trafficking, and that's the springboard to show Liam Neeson be a badass and smoke baddies, and that's why we love him for it, and that's why the movie's entertaining. This is not that. This is a very real look at the world of child trafficking. Not to say it's graphic. It's a PG-13 movie. I appreciate that about it. We know what happens to these children when they're trafficked. We don't need to see it. No, I... I do need it. I, I need to know that child trafficking is bad. Isn't this like... Isn't this literally like... Uh, isn't this exactly what liberals yell about on, on Twitter? Isn't this exactly what they want? They want to know like no good char no bad characters in movies. Bad things need to be described under... Uh, Zero uncertainty, okay? Child trafficking is so bad, and you got to say it's bad, and you got to make sure that everybody understands it. It's so dumb. I like the fact that the film knows that you don't have to show it to know it. Also makes it more accessible for people, you know? It's like, you got to have a strong stomach already just thematically to watch this film. They were graphic. I, Dude, I'd have bailed. But I appreciate that it shows that this world of chasing child traffickers these agents have seen the worst of the worst i would say it's not a job for everybody i would argue it's not a job for anybody they do it because if they don't who oh damn dude jeremy's pro child trafficking dude he's like it's not a job for anybody nobody should do it nobody should nobody should stop child sex traffickers <laughs> Who will? There's an emotional toll that it takes, and that is why Jim Caviezel is perfect in this film. He's perfect because I've always seen him as a person. The first time I really saw Jim Caviezel was Frequency. I was I, He just has a kind face. Yes, I know he has played villains before, but to me, I don't know, maybe I still see him as Jesus. Yeah, like when he played Jesus. But he has a kind face. However, he has really pained eyes. His Honestly, why are we watching one guy's review? I know he's a movie YouTuber, but whatever. Why are you upset that this, like, random YouTuber has decided he likes the movie? Like, we watch random one guy videos every day, all day. Who cares? Like, what? You think You think uh, people are just going to now be like, no, actually, the fucking QAnon person uh, that made the movie is, is uh, good now. That's what I think. His eyes just have this look about him. Like he's dealing with a lot of pain, but trying to hide it. Perfect for the character. He always looks like he is one sentence away from just breaking down and crying, but he still has that switch flipped. And really, that's largely all of us in the audience. We're like that. So it's kind of, you know, it's relatable to see Jim Caviezel be like the rest of us. Us be like Jim Caviezel. If you don't cry in the movie, you did actively try to hold it back. No one's judging anyone here. I'm just saying that's the logistical fact. Also, they use the budget really well in here. The movie. This film is not about right versus left. It's about saving children. Thank you, JJ. The fact that no celebrities, TV networks, news politicians haven't mentioned this movie speaks volumes. Finally, a big movie reviewer who hasn't sold out. Big respect. Many years ago, I watched a 700 Club episode. Child predators should never be called martyrs. What? Dude, what is happening, dude? God damn it. Everyone is so fucking stupid. It's like, it, it, it was content at first, but now it's starting to be a little scary, I think. How, how fucking brain broken people are. Like, 
Like every single person here genuinely believes that there is like child sex trafficking happening uh, at the highest levels of American society. And it's mostly the Democratic Party. And they are, they're doing it. They're doing the damn thing. Okay. They're doing it and they're doing it really well and they are hiding it. They're hiding it from the American population except for all the Barbers and all the Debras. They are the ones who have uncovered this. They foiled the plot. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It cost about $14.5 million, thus saith the Googles. Incredible use of budget. If I found out this movie cost twice as much as that, like $30 million, I'd be like, yeah, that tracks. Also, they made the most of their budget. That's actually really impressive. It costs less than half of that at $14.5 million. I have seen movies with $60 million budgets look far cheaper than this movie ever did. If you dare to look into the facts of the true story of this, you do see where they trimmed the budget. I guess the main operation, oper Operation Triple, I want to call it Triple Tap. I don't think that's it. Triple Take. Right, so Operation Triple Take was much larger. They actually saved a lot more people, but for the sake of the film, they were like, let's concentrate on the children that they saved. Those kind of corners cut, you see where they were like, if we had a larger budget, maybe we could show the whole thing, but we can't show how large scale that operation was. You don't know that. You don't know until you start the Googling afterwards, but the fact that this movie makes you look into it more, makes you start Googling, that's a good thing. I also like, I feel like this is gonna be a concern for some people, because I guess the studio, don't know much about it, but I heard it's a faith-based studio. Also, it's called The Sound of Freedom. Point is, in this politically charged world, I'm sure some people look at this and be like, right wing, whatever, no thanks. But I felt it did a really good job at keeping that out of it. It's not about that. It's not about the right. Okay, it's definitely about that. Like, the guy is a fucking nut job. The main actor. The, the movie very much is just like QAnon pedophilia is happening. I mean, I haven't even seen it, and he has. Maybe he's right. But kind of hard to not marry uh, the two. But, like, <laughs> the movie has, like, the guy literally is selling the movie as a, as a way to raise awareness about child sex trafficking. Which is like what what are, what are we doing here? What like what awareness? Yeah, but he's promoting it. Yeah, he's like <laughs> one ticket to this movie means one ticket for a child to not be trafficked. <laughs> That's what one ticket to this movie is doing. Versus the left, it's about saving children. Like there are lines in the movie where Jim Caviezel says, "God's children are not for sale." First of all, pretty badass phrase, but. It's in context. It's, it's the character. It's what he would say. It's what the guy would say. So it makes sense in the context of the film and the character at hand. But this is based off of a true story. So yeah, there was a clear moment where I was like, I do not think it happened this way. Gonna look into it. Exactly. It's like the movie wraps up and it felt a little quick on the wrap up, but I was like, all right, you know, it's fine. Didn't have a big budget after all. And then it was like, you know what? What if this dude just does a solid snake sneaking operation into the jungle for one last? I was like, th it feels weirdly out of place to the point where I feel like they had their movie and it was all wrapped up and the sting goes down. And someone was like, no, big Metal Gear Solid fan. I don't think that movie's ever happening. So this is the closest we will get. Let's do it. For the sake of the fundamental wrap up of fulfillment. I will say it's a two hour, 15 minute film. It did not feel like it was over two hours. So that's really impressive. <laughs> These days, I really feel the runtime. I'm getting old and grumpy when it comes to run times, no doubt. I'm completely aware of it, just so you know. So it's actually more impressive I didn't notice it here. I would be remiss if I went without talking about the music. Two hours and 15 minutes isn't that bad, what the fuck? I feel like three hours is, is when it's like, okay, this is way too long. I thought the musical score was exceptional. It was heartfelt, beautiful, emotional, all when called for. On the other hand, broody, dark, intense, atmospheric, somber, downright creepy in other scenes. But in the end, in a weekend of packed movies, I wasn't planning on doing this one, but glad I did. It's an informative film that's a solid thriller in its own right. That's all I ask. It's just, there's, it's so funny. Like, it's like, I don't know, watching The Pianist and being like, guys, 
you have to watch this movie to understand that like but it's even worse than that, I was going to say you have to understand this movie because like you have to watch the movie because it's like the Holocaust is bad the Nazis did was very wrong but even then that's like historical okay this is just literally looking at this is just looking at a a concept that universally everyone knows is bad which is child trafficking and being like thank god someone is finally shining a light on the dark side of child trafficking <laughs> oh jesus christ it's about time someone said it it's very brave honestly incredibly brave take to say that uh, child trafficking is morally abhorrent and wrong and we got to put a stop to it yeah let's give a bro are you high yes man i i am i am high i'm high off of not really sleeping that much i just i just landed and immediately went live i probably shouldn't have done that everyone is fucking shitting on me film exists to be informative. I only ask that it also be entertaining in the genre that it is in. I felt this film did that. Again, heavy subject matter. So if this is a one-time viewing, totally get it. But I do believe it is worth that one viewing. It emotionally sticks with you and I'm glad I watched it. No alcohol required. All right, so Sound of Freedom. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. Here's me on Sound of Freedom, the QAnon adjacent thriller that pretends to be a real movie, much in the same way a pregnancy crisis center pretends to be an actual clinic. Brazilians are already accusing me of pedophilia on Instagram. Enjoy. The mainstream liberal media doesn't want you to know that this film is a stealth reverse big. What is this? So I'm clear. The movie makes no mention of QAnon, but you're presuming that the absence is a dog whistle for QAnon people? Um, every Letterbox review has the most insane comments like, wow, I can't believe you want to kidnap and murder children. Yeah, if you don't like a... If you don't like a movie uh, that features... Oh, God. Oh, God. It's so awful. This is what Radlibs do. This is literally what Radlibs do. It's just now the right is doing it and they're saying you're a pedophile. Radlibs used to do this and be like, oh, if you like this movie, you're a racist. This is straight up looking at a movie and then thinking that like watching that movie, consuming that movie says something about your personal politics. Okay. It does not. Just enjoy things. Who cares? It's just so stupid dumb and then it's also it's also creating this like uh a clear moral boundary right or or you have to warp every every piece of media that you consume to ensure that like uh you know nobody gets a different message out of it okay like like saying this is uncovering the dark side of child sex trafficking is a perfect representation of this it's like the Ted Lasso of of uh, QAnon uh, watchers, okay? And Ted Lasso doesn't even take itself too seriously because it's a fucking comedy, so it doesn't really matter. But, um, like, you can't have a bad guy. And if you have a bad guy, he can't be, like, good. Wait, what's up? Oh, you guys want to... You guys love streaming, dude. What the fuck? They're just like slowly walking in here while I'm uh, while I'm streaming. You're just like, hey, yeah, you guys want to come on? You guys want to come on the stream? Okay, all right, here, get in here, dude. We're just doing nothing. Oh fuck, I can't move too well, so yeah, really fucking bad, dude. Have you guys heard about this movie, Sound of Freedom? Yeah, yeah, I, we've, I know that, 
Okay, hold on here. Let me open up the. I think we were here. Long. I think we were here when when that person. Are the mics on? Are they working? Oh yeah, you were here when I. Or, or I watched the oh, stream. Yeah, watch out for that one. And assumed I was there. Wait, were you here or did no, you? No, actually... I think we were here. I don't watch the stream that much. I mean, I watch it all the time. Oh my like, god! Were you? I was actually so addicted to just streaming that when you were gone, I was just like, oh. I watch Hassan's streams just to check what he's up to. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't stream that much uh, while I was gone because I got into a tragic golf carting incident. So it didn't happen for me. But, okay. Sound of Freedom is a QAnon-tinged thriller about child trafficking designed to appeal to the conscience of a conspiracy-addled boomer. Sick. It sounds awesome. It looks awesome. And apparently, like, it's gotten relatively positive reception from even critics because mm. 78 on Rotten uh, Tomatoes is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And yet, anyone that's, like, give, anyone that's given it, like, average marks, I guess, uh, now is being bombarded yeah. with pedophilia accusations. <laughs> That's amazing. That's the best way to get a movie good reviews. Yeah. <laughs> You're reviewed. a pedophile if you don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Um, 8.7 on IMDb. We should watch it. You I want to watch it, but we can't. This is oh, like get, a, a, a Western uh, uh, release. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like the Chinese one. Um, Conservatives are 10 star spamming it on IMDb. It's sitting at 8.7 out of 10. It's oh, good. Right. Um. Anything below 8 out of 10 means you're a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the movie company is raising awareness by raising $4 million for themselves. Nice. This is America's yeah. number one movie, uh, Sound of Freedom. And they had a pay it forward campaign to provide free tickets for someone to claim and watch it at the nice. movie theaters. So they raised... Enough money for 3.8 million tickets. Wait, wait, can the, does that mean I can watch for free? Where do you, how do you apply for the for the pay person who's being? I want forward. that too. Yeah. I want to. I want to. They they need to pay it forward for us because we are the audience that has to watch it. Yeah. Because yeah. we only know about the light side of child trafficking. Yeah, mm -hmm. we only hear we've the never parts. been. We've never encountered the dark side of it. No, I've never been trafficked. Yeah, and so this this movie is gruesome. Wait, oh, it says claim free tickets. Wait, hold on. Let me see if we can claim one. No way. Enter your zip code and choose a date. Select the show time. Follow the prompt. I don't want to put my information on here. Oh, my God. Just put a random zip code. No, I think it'll just, like, show it only for, like, hold on. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Hold on. I'm not going to show it. Request my theater. Oh, we don't... Oh, so they want a lot from oh, oh, it's like data, oh, 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 data oh, oh, oh. Dude, look how many people are buying tickets. Yeah. It's like nonstop. They're not they're yeah. You're getting RMC email RMC emails for life. These screenings are all sold out and half empty. Source, I'm a cinema worker. Shit. They're so mad at CNN. Wait, why? What the fuck? New. CNN vocally opposes the release of Sound of Freedom. A movie exposing the reality of child sex trafficking, calling it a QAnon film. Imagine being upset about a movie exposing child sex trafficking and thinking you're the good guys. Dude, it's a movie, man. It's a movie. It's fake, dude. It's fake, brother. You're doing the same shit that Radlibs do when they're like, oh, you didn't like this particular movie that has a great message? Like, that. well, that says a lot about you. It's like... Is it a doco in any way? Is it based on a true story? Oh, it's based on a true story. Oh, so it's like an actual movie. I thought it was a documentary. I thought it was yeah, him no, going no. around the world and freeing No, the that's what children. I thought too. No, no, no. It's actually just like a movie. Oh. It's, it's, uh, oh God. This movie is Coney so 2012, stupid. but for conservatives. I don't get it. Show them the trailer. Okay, yeah. If I show you the trailer, Wait, you'll understand. Isn't Taken a movie about the dark side of Yeah, the but that's not enough. Here, you, you, this will help you understand. We're going to rewatch it. Yes. How that make you feel? Giving a child his freedom. Girls are Tell good. Them. You have been at this for 12 years. My country tis of thee. 
Taken wasn't good because it was like Eastern Europeans like doing the child trafficking. Yeah. And, and it was like, Albanians they're like specifically. White. That's why I loved it so much. Oh, <laughs> it, actually, <laughs> it was Albanians. Oh my god! Come on! Wow, dude! Wow! But, but the King Albanian in the second one was a Serbian actor. So um, yeah, so it bounces out. Yeah, so yeah, that's even worse. Yeah, that's double. That's even worse. worse. Yeah, yeah. I bet he was being extra. Perverted. He was doing Albanian face. Yeah, he was <laughs> just like, yeah, this is exactly how Albanians are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Because God's children are not for sale. That's God's the, children that's are not the for sale. bar. God's children are that's not a for sick sale. Line. I feel like I'm going to enjoy this movie. So what, I think this. Not other children. Yeah. Atheist children? No, nah, fuck those kids. Yeah, for sale. Those kids are actually for sale, <laughs> but they're going for cheap. It's only... <laughs> Ow. Fucking bargain. Yeah. They only want God's children. <laughs> they got the, they, they're got they the best to kidnap <laughs> and traffic. Wait, aren't God's it children the, the one that get molested the most? All the kids Prime in the Catholic Network. Church? Yeah, because they're the best. Yeah. <laughs> they're the, they're, they're, they get molested for free. Yeah, they, no, the Catholics. The Catholics have been on to this for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just works for the Vatican. He's yeah. like, we need our kids back. These are yeah. our kids. Yeah, no, no. This uh, this scene is sick though. Watch where he goes. He's like so sad. Look, Work that the world has ever seen. For homeland security, you know. When he opens the door, wait, hold on. When he opens the door, you can see the sadness in his National eyes. Like, that work that the world is that him seen. looking at? Kids? Yeah, he's looking at a kid. He's like, what? Oh. he's sad because of the competition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You you uncovered it. It was the, it was the Catholic Church versus these. Uh, what are they? Are they Honduran? For homeland security, you know, we can't go off rescuing Honduran kids in Colombia. This job tears you to pieces. The entire movie is shot in Mexico filter. And this is my one chance to so put good. those pieces back together. And yet somehow, you have failed to bring me one real world lead. What? Is he it's capturing lead world leaders? Close up and come back home. So you quit your job and you go and rescue those kids. Let freedom ring, baby. I just love kids. South of that river, it's all rebel territory. No one lives in July 4th. What if this was your daughter? So, she's gone. Wait, was that one of the clients? Hold on, that guy. That guy pedophile? Yeah, wait, hold yeah. on. The, the guy with the weird haircut in the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that guy. Uh, yeah, he's like, yeah. pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet he fucking voted for Hillary Clinton. How bad would that be as an actor getting typecast as the pedophile? <laughs> it's like, that's my role. Bro, in if you're movies. walking around with that haircut, you're begging for <laughs> it, okay? He's just like, Ugh. I can't wait to vote for Hillary Clinton <laughs> more. <laughs> Someone said he looks like Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. It's not true. That? I just saw no, it. No, no, no. You didn't even see that. You just made it up. Just <laughs> no, made no, no one wrote it in the chat. He's just saying it. He just wants to fuck with me. Uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, no, he doesn't look Albanian <laughs> at all. <laughs> what <do you> mean? <laughs> She's got the crown logo. You hear that? It's the sound of freedom. That's the it. sound of freedom. So good. You should write these movies. Wow, he said the title. That's when you know a movie is sick. <laughs> yeah, when you when they say the title of the movie. Sound of freedom is oh, it doesn't end there. More. Oh, this oh. is why it's Explain like super. To us what, what happens in the movie? He's yeah. still sad, but he's not even acting here. Yeah, no, he's just like that. Apparently, <laughs> apparently people were saying like he was Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, in an Australian uh, Medal of Honor winner recipient Mel Gibson's movie, <laughs> Passion of Christ. Uh, and people were saying that he doesn't know how to read. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like he's illiterate and forgets all of his lines all the time. Did Jesus have all the lines? Freedom is one of those films that can legitimately change this world. So we want to ignite a fire in audiences and open their eyes to the dark this reality like Tony, of millions of children that need our help. Let's make this film a historic event and the start, the end of child trafficking. Almost Theaters across this country are already selling out. Pre-order your tickets today and you can see. He sounds them. like AI. I know. Pre-order your ticket. Like he's like order your He's speaking like he's never heard words before. <laughs> yeah. Pre-order your tickets today. Um just I don't know. I, I this is awesome Message though. I, that God's children are no just, longer for sale. Yeah, no longer. Kind of cool. I mean, good work on behalf of the production company to cash in on like a narrative that people yeah, really the into. On, yeah, the QAnon, the QAnon frenzy. It's like I got a but, shit film, but if but I tilt it this way, every single person has basically in my chat so far have reported either their parents or a coworker is like basically pr uh, promoting this movie in this line with these lines. My coworker told me about this movie today and how it's the best movie that they don't want you to see. Like, who's they? Dude, come on, it's Jewish people. Like, <laughs> like what you, come on, pick it up. So. Pick it up. <laughs> you know. Um Those Jewish Hondurans with kidnapping all these yeah. kids. Yeah. Hassan, I don't understand. They're saving illegal Honduran children. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is that is also weird because they are like the same people that also constantly fucking complain about the caravans and shit. The Albanians don't want you to see this yet. <laughs> <laughs> Albanians hate this one movie. Since Taken, they've been like, please don't expose Stop. the dark side of child trafficking. Uh, in a way that Taken never did. Yeah. Um. So, let's see. Give Alexa your glasses. No. no don't do that. No. Don't turn me to a pedophile. No. <laughs> I'm not ready. No. No. Okay, let's let's see. Someone let's told me to wipe the chocolate milk off my lip, and I thought I actually had chocolate milk on my lip. I'm like, oh, they're talking about slight stubble. Chats, your chat's lovely. Oh, you got slight stubble. Oh, dude, they they've noticed. Been... That's like Somehow. the biggest deal for Alex. He, he's completely hairless. Yeah, dude, look at you. What's happening? Is it the American GMO? Uh, yeah, I fucking... think so. It's making me produce hair faster. <laughs> you got. You're growing up, dude. Next up, you're gonna you're have aging. Some, you're gonna have some chest hair next. <laughs> no way. No, still not. Fuck! You got me so excited. <laughs> yeah, I think we need to learn the facts. Worldschildren.org. What? Twenty-seven percent of trafficking victims are. Wait, children are trafficked four times more likely to be trafficked for labor rather than sex wait oh, hold like on the, i mean the ones who make all our stuff wait how is a child useful though for fucking labor what do you mean what do you mean dude tiny little, little fingers, fingers compared to an adult though yeah but it's adults so hard to traffic you can fit like yeah. so many more kids in a car than you can you're adults. so right and also like i feel like they're more resilient kids well you can yeah. throw them oh we were talking about this today they do yeah. have they, their bones are bendy they like yeah you like that's what i said yeah okay you just believed what i said what you made it up no, I mean I could be wrong, but you just oh. took that on Facebook. No, it's like it's like a child 100% can cope with like horrific trauma better than an adult can with like yeah. fully fleshed flushed opinions, fully fledged opinions. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Um I, I think an adult would just kill themselves, but kids would just keep on learning. Yeah, kids are like I don't get it. I don't know. I guess this I guess, is my reality. Yeah, this is yeah. what this is what being a human is all about. My thing is like why are you trying to traffic children for labor when you could just like go to Nebraska? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like many states have unrolled like new deregulation specifically surrounding child labor. Like you can do it for, you know, you can do it without any sort of like pesky government restrictions. What about prison labor? Isn't that super cheap as well? Yeah, but you don't see that's the problem. That Juvie doesn't, doesn't do that. Doesn't do labor? Oh, really? Yeah, Juvie doesn't. I don't think Juvie does. I know. I know. It's really fucked up. 66% of child trafficking victims are girls. What can you do about forced labor? It's uh, progressive that they're all girls, but they want them for work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's awful. Ladies belong in the factory floor <laughs> as well. 99% um, of victims trafficked for sexual exploited, exploitation are women and girls. Traffickers use threat, lies, debt, bondage. 
Yeah, we've all seen uh, Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate's <laughs> Hustlers University, um, or what was it, the Pimping Ain't Easy program, or whatever the actually, fuck. He called it like, I forget what he called it, but yeah, we are very familiar. Um, watching this movie is gonna resolve pimping hose degree. Well, that's Jesus what it Christ. was. Pimp, not pimping ain't easy degree. It was pimping hose. It's degree. actually pimping is very easy. You just yeah, need to know pimping tricks. wasn't easy until the pimping hose degree. Now it's mm. like it's super easy. Apparently, one in every two hundred and fifty people are victims in the Asia Asia Pacific region. What? Wait, Australia is the Asia Pacific region. That cannot be true. Seven in ten victims of sexual exploit are. Yo, this is just shitting on the Asia Pacific. <laughs> the, what? Seven in ten victims of sexual exploitation in the world are trafficked in the Asia Pacific? Well, if you think about how many, like... Um, okay, what, are Albanians running in that territory? What's going on? I don't know. That's I what I, know. I... I learned everything from movies, so I'm just thinking <laughs> yeah. according to Taken. That's what I was thinking. Fun fact, most child traffickers aren't great guys usually. <laughs> Wait, oh, come on. <laughs> Do they have, like, a, like a pop in TikTok page, though? Because... <laughs> In which case, my mind can be changed. <laughs> I'm thinking about all those like migrant workers that go from the Philippines to like the Gulf states. Uh, Is yep. that who would like? That's work and sexual exploitation, just like two for one. They come to Australia as well. They work in like the yeah. cane plantations. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It's so funny that Chuds are losing their minds about this movie, saying that this movie don't get made and movies like this don't get made. And when Marvel's Black Widow is a literal plot about child trafficking, yeah, I. Like, child trafficking is, like, a very common plot in movies. Yeah. Because it's one of those things that's, like, a cliche. Mm. Like, everyone universally understands that that's a bad thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why, it, it, like, people fucking... What you want about Albanians and child trafficking? It's a taken uh. reference that we were making. Um, It's kind of, you know, it's kind of basically just something that everyone agrees is bad. Okay, let's watch. And you seem pretty familiar with him because he doesn't really hide his association with this real wild plot uh, that that involves, you know, drinking the blood of children and things like that. Hmm. No, he doesn't hide it at all. And you have a lot of people who are in this world of QAnon who say, oh, they don't know what that is. They've never heard of it. Yeah, they brought a guy with the last name Rothschild <laughs> to talk about talk they're, about how this movie is, is fake. They're this totally is, in on it. This, this surely will make the QAnon guys uh, respond normally. Yep. Yep. Good job. They're just asking questions. With somebody like Jim Caviezel, he is openly embracing it. He's oh, openly using its catchphrases oh, and its yeah. concepts. He's speaking at QAnon conventions. And this film is being marketed to either specific QAnon believers or to people who believe all of the same tenets as QAnon but claim they don't know what it is. And The Sound of Freedom does focus on a real issue of sex trafficking. Uh, but that theme, it, it's sort of like that kernel of truth that feeds the QAnon conspiracy theory. Uh, tell us how those two things work together. Sure. And the most durable and the most believable... <laughs> I'm Jewish and we spent all of the Sabbath cutting the air conditioning in every AMC theater. <laughs> we, started off, we, we started off this because I saw this like freak... QAnon mom who was like, what are they hiding? They refunded our tickets because the AC wasn't working in the theater. <laughs> I was trying to watch Sound of Freedom. Like, dude, it's awesome. Yes, there's a grand conspiracy to stop you from watching another movie about, you know, stopping child traffickers. Uh, Believable conspiracy theories are not entirely false. There's something in them that is true and the rest of it is false. But the believers point to the one true thing and they say, oh, you don't believe that this particular thing is true. In terms of child trafficking, we know trafficking is real. We know it has real victims. No one is denying that. But these films are created out of moral panics. They're created out of bogus statistics. They're created out of fear. And with something like Sound of Freedom, it's... I really hate both sides of this conversation. Uh, I, I actually no, I hate this side more. As a matter of fact, because like, at least the other side is like entertaining with how yeah. schizophrenic they are. Yeah. Like their reception of this movie is like this is uncovering <laughs> secret truths yeah. about, uh, you know, the pedophile Democrats and whatever, which is like a movie in and of itself. You know what I mean? It's like a second thing to watch. Meanwhile, these guys are like, oh my god, uh, the movie is creating a moral panic. It's like, yeah, it is. 
because these people are insane. But also, like, I don't know. I it's just, I think they're they're taking it just as seriously yeah. Yeah. as the it's other like side it's is. Not important. I, I just thought of a really funny video idea we could do. We could go to cinemas where this is playing and dress up and purposely do weird things to fuck with people <laughs> so that they think we're trying to stop them from doing stuff. You were just trying to get killed before no, you leave, be I so think. Funny. Yeah, it's a great video idea. <laughs> just doing red flag. Yeah, it's a great video idea. When when would you uh, when would you recommend shooting that? Tonight. Oh, okay. Is that? Oh, well, interesting. Yep. Let's get the free tickets. Yeah. <laughs> These yeah, yeah, have you have you told the audience yet? No. Which no, cinema? Well, which cinema we're going to? Tonight? <laughs> yeah, which cinema you're going to tonight? No, that's not what I mean. All right, never mind. All right. Um I did a thing getting shot. <laughs> Man doesn't realize he's in America now. I mean, you'd be fine in LA, I think. Yeah. You're not doing it in like Texas. If you do it in Texas, no, you're I wasn't getting shot. We threaten people. I was saying we just you, make it seem you like look like a child trafficker. Stop them from watching the movie. Well, I'll go like that pedophile guy. <laughs> yeah. I already apparently look like him. <laughs> you just, just wear glasses. my glasses yeah. and then you know get a haircut. Yeah, someone said you should cosplay the movie. Yeah. <laughs> You could also go both ways, though. You could be like Jim Cavaziel. Like, if you get, like, a different haircut, you could look like Jim Cavaziel a little bit. That's really nice. And then... <laughs> we cosplay as pedophiles and go watch <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> go in a white, uh, white van. <laughs> yeah, in a white van. It's like, hey, candy. hey, kids. Hey, kids. You hey. want some candy? <laughs> Oh, but he cosplay as a pedophile. Specifically, is looking at QAnon concepts of these child trafficking rings that are run by the high-level elites, and only people like Tim Ballard and only people like Jim Caviezel, and by extension, only people like the ticket buyer can help bring these trafficking rings down. So there's a very participatory element. You're not just going to see a movie. You're just killing two hours on a hot day. You are helping bring down these these pedophile rings and save children. Now it's not true, but it's a very comforting and it's very warm feeling to have All i mean it's like it's in the same vein as like whatever kind of fucking liberal feel-good movie that comes out like uh yeah like a like a white man savior well like a white savior flick that comes out and like every liberal goes and watches it this is the best thing ever and they're like oh my god i'm doing my part combating like fighting against racism you know so oh i went on I want to watch the Green Book. Like, yeah, that's so oh, that was such stuff. a shit movie. Yeah, I just oh. that's that's it. It's and at the this, end they have like Christmas dinner together or something. It's so bad. <laughs> Is that the one? Yeah, or the ones vegans love to watch. Yeah, I I don't even know what movies vegans love to watch, but basically, that's it. That's that's how it works, and this is like the QAnon version of that. Meanwhile, it's just a movie. Like, consume it as though it's just a fucking movie. Yeah. CNN hates this, <laughs> says Colin yeah, Rugg. They're exposing us. Imagine being upset about a movie exposing child sex trafficking and thinking you're the good guys. These films are created out of moral panics. They're created out of bogus statistics. They're created out of fear. And with something like The Sound of Freedom, it specifically is looking at QAnon concepts of these child trafficking rings that are run by the high-level elites. CNN sucks. <laughs> He just said going to see a movie on a hot day. He knows about the AC cutting. Ah, yeah. true. You can't get us. You want to see this? <gasps> She's hot. I would, dude. I was. I did not say that. You said that, and I do not agree nor disagree with you. Right. I so, don't know if any one of you have already been to see The Sound of Freedom, but my friends and I just walked out. Hi. A little sweaty. And we it's are nice curious. Thing what your experiences were in the movie theater because we pre-ordered our tickets, paid for them, they were claimed, got the link sent, and this is an AMC theater in Pineville, North Carolina. Some point today, the tickets got refunded to my friend and we couldn't figure out why. So we come anyway to the theater after dinner and they're like, oh, well, we refunded all the tickets because there's no air conditioning in our theaters. Okay, whatever. Delicious. We don't care. Are you still showing it? You they'll still care. watch it. No, yeah. they'll still watch. No, they care about child sex trafficking. They want to end know. it. Air conditioning in America is a special thing. Dude, it's People so People pump good. it so hard here. It's so oh, fuck. God. Okay, don't act like it's not incredible, though. It's, no, it's, it's kind of painful sometimes. Oh, it's my God. Cold. You guys are such pussies, dude. I was in fucking France for the past 
for the past fucking weekend, no AC anywhere, dude. Holy shit. That makes you the pussy, not us. No. <laughs> We're raw dogging nature. You're out there. No, you, like a, you like literally a, just sit in a hazmat hurts. suit to go it outside. It hurts my skin. <laughs> it hurts my Australian skin. Aircon hurts me. No, we Who's like the, the pussy? Hot. I like it when it's fucking 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. I like wow. it when it's 40 degrees Celsius. Celsius. Oh, Jesus. What is this argument? <laughs> it's it's <laughs> terrible. Yeah, I, I don't get it. I it like everywhere you go, people are just raw dog in the heat and it's so weird. <laughs> you you would just like rather be in a shittier situation. <laughs> yeah. Like you'd rather be uncomfortable. Well, these ladies are, are, are down they're to be uncomfortable. Yeah, they're with us. As long as they're watching the, 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 you know, child sex trafficking movie. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can still watch it. So we get to thinking, why did they not send out a notice in the email saying, hey, we refunded your tickets because there's no yeah. air conditioning. Um, and we just are curious, why, they, why, why didn't they let us know? There was no one in that theater. There was us four and four other people, eight people in the theater on a Friday night. That means no one else wanted to watch it. <laughs> there was air conditioning in the hallways. There was air conditioning in the bathroom. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, you can't fool her. <laughs> She's on to you, AMC. That is a bit suspicious. Yeah, air conditioning mm. in the lobby. Yeah, guess what? I guess Hillary Clinton cut out the air conditioning. <laughs> That's what we know. Yes. Not the theaters. They don't have the bartender or anything in the theater. Okay. What? That's how the air conditioning happens. I smell something stinky, and I think it's shit. Sick. Can you fix her? Oh, there's a part two. I, I love don't need it. to. She's perfect. Part two. How many? Oh, she had more to say. Let's go. She had fucking more to say, dude. It's not enough. It's not enough that something smells stinky. <laughs> and it's not my B.O. It's, it's not shit. Deborah's B.O., okay? I'll tell you what. Because the due to the lack of no A.C., I mean, okay? Many people <laughs> would continue to drive over. This is Here's the theater. We're in Pineville, North Carolina, okay? So how many people do you know would actually still go to a theater... Knowing that your tickets have been refunded, to check on your tickets. Not that many people. We did because what? We're insane because we're yeah. fucking so dumb. Like what? I'm so confused. Why is she saying this? Like, oh, you're, like, too, you're too mean to her. Oh, <laughs> just, oh my god! You're take such it a, easy. You're, you're such in a love with her. We did <laughs> because. We're not dumb. And also that was divinely inspired. Oh my Whoa. God. Oh my God. It's cause she's not dumb. Mm. That's why she was like, Oh, this movie, uh, unfortunately is not going to be like a great experience for you <laughs> because the AC is broken and nobody gives a shit to fix it. Uh, and she was like, no, I'm not dumb. You can't be <laughs> fooling me. You don't want me to watch this movie. <laughs> okay. You don't want me to watch <sighs> movie. It's like next up. No one's making this movie a movie saying murder is bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No one's making it. <laughs> Them goddamn lip tars, they wanna they want you to think murder is good. <laughs> okay? That's why that's why they stopped me from seeing that's why they made me slightly the transporter <laughs> or John John Wick. Liberals don't want you to see John Wick. Imagine being the minimum wage worker, though, in the cinema with these women coming up and accusing you yeah. of being like a pedophile lover or something. You're like, ma'am, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to I'm make a child. popcorn, please. Yeah. Ma'am, I'm a child I'm myself. A child. Yeah. What do you want from me? Uh, that's right. Bet you're, bet you're going after girls in your, your class. <laughs> Got them. For God to push us to keep going here. Um, to find out what these theaters are doing to keep this message from getting out. I don't care what you Why think. Why would they screen it? About what the <laughs> fuck are you We're going to put it on about? and then sabotage it. <laughs> it's so stupid. She thinks they're trying to stop the movie from being fucking released. Oh, 
Oh, that's so awesome. God, I love... See, this is what I mean. Infinitely more entertaining than some yeah. nerd going on CNN and being like, mm, this is really... There's a nugget of truth. There's... Oh, love And They're really hyping up the QAnon narratives. It's like, this shit's funny. They yeah. Both sides taking it way too seriously, okay? It's just a fucking dumb movie, okay? But at least these guys and their schizophrenia is fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. AMC stands for all my children, as in trafficking all my children. <laughs> fucking, dude, we're on to it. We're on to it. This movie was filmed in 2018 and sat on release for five years. <laughs> it's literally just a generic action thriller that the marketers yeah, found a good yeah, angle for. Yeah, yeah. yeah the genius. Yeah. On a serious note, my mother is like this. What can I do? Introduce your mom to, to Alexa. Yeah. <laughs> if she looks like, if this is what your mom looks like, Alexa can handle it. I will convert to QAnon. Yeah. But a message is a message, and who cares who the messenger is? Go see the fucking movie and be damned what your theater tells you if it refunds your tickets. Go anyways. Peace out. I want to see this movie so bad. This woman is every mom in Pineville, North Carolina, by the way. I kind of want to see this movie tonight yeah. as well. Yeah. Should we go watch this yeah. movie? Let's go watch yeah. it and do a review. I, but they don't want... Dude, Los Angeles is taken over by commies. Dude, there's not going to be any... I don't think any the, we'll be able to watch it. I, I don't think we'll be able to watch this movie. Would you be slightly suspicious if we arrive and there's no air con? Oh, yeah. I would be like... Yeah. Twice? She's right. Twice in the same country? Yeah, yeah that could never <laughs> happen. Okay, to be fair, air conditioning is like basically built into the American Constitution. Yeah, yeah. So, like, it is objectively probably the only good thing about america where america clears like the rest of the world oh, i hate it so it's much. just like so much air conditioning <laughs> it's awesome you would die in australia yeah there's no yeah. air con and i want to go i want to go during the the winter too like our winter your summer which again another global conspiracy very interesting it's winter here but then you go to australia and all of a sudden it's summer what are they hiding <laughs> Did they make it warm just so they can traffic children easier? <laughs> Everybody knows children prefer the warm weather. I'm just saying. My parents went to see a movie yesterday and there was no AC. It's, I think it's just too expensive to run. This was in San Diego. What the fuck? What movie were they trying to watch, though? <laughs> yeah, I bet probably the pedophile movie. <laughs> Only the air conditioning in the pedophile movie is broken. And if it's another movie uh, theater uh, that has the broken air con... It's actually because they fucked up and yeah, yeah. broke yep. the wrong one. God's children are no longer for sale. <laughs>